I'm sorry, I was away from this fight completely. I just wanted to know if there's any news on Anthony Joshua, what might happen next with him, you know, looking at a date, looking at opponents, what's, what's the kind of step? Yeah, well, he's in um, Thailand at the moment, and judging by his Snapchat, I wish I was in Thailand. Good time, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that he'll box in November, middle or end, and I think it'll be between Parker, Stavern and Pulev. I think they're the three guys. Spoke to Parker's team at the weekend. Uh, seem like very nice people. They have a clear plan in place. I don't think they're rushing to fight anti Joshua because I think they're in a similar boat where they feel like he's going to get better. Um, but AJ likes the Parker fight. I think he wants to get that dealt with. I think it's a good fight. Um, but Pulev's a great test for him. Stavern's a great test for him. And you know, I think it will mo more than likely come from one of those three. Or Manchester. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Everything, there's only two arenas that, that can take him, that's Manchester and the O2, so, and sometimes not all aren't available, so I quite like the idea of taking him to Manchester. You know, we haven't done it for a long time, taking him to the northwest. so um, of course there's demand wherever we go, but I'll look to the Millennium Stadium as well, but it's a big pun. Yeah. And taking him to America is not, not, for, now. At the not for now, I mean there's, there's loads of conversations, Amman, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, um, China, Dubai, these are all either governments or tourist boards that have come on to try and stage an anti-Joshua fight and that's of massive interest to us provided we can get the right model and the right security on, on the numbers, not security as in you know, FBI or whatever, but um, so yeah, I mean, we, again we want to do something different with anti-Joshua, like, like these fighters are trying to do something different you know, and do something great, and that might be to go out and you, know, you, you announce that Andy Joshua is fighting in China, and that's that's groundbreaking. You know, everyone might sort of go, oh, "What's going?" But that is, and we want to do that. We want to box in America, but for now, you know, but you've got Fury Kitchko. God knows what's happening with that fight. You've got David Payne in the mix as well, and, and I think they're the fights realistically we can look at next summer. But for now, we want to plan November and probably March, and then look for the unification in the summer.